So what's up guys welcome back to another video. In my last video you guys asked for a Valorant lag fix video. So here we are with the ultimate lag fix video for Valorant. And to be honest this will be my last Valorant guide for a while like unless there's something new that I can show you guys I won't be making any kind of Valorant guide videos. So here we are. So in this video I'll be talking about three types of problems. So first one would be the high loading time and then we'll be talking about ping issues and then we're going to talk about the FPS problem. So without wasting any more time, let's just get right into it. So first of all, what I'd like to say is that Valorant is an online game and there's limitations to stuff that you can do on an online game because there's obviously the risk of getting banned. And the other thing that I would like to say is that this video might not be useful for people that are getting like five to 10 FPS on Valorant. Like I can't totally fix Valorant for you. That means you might have to upgrade your PC like it's time to upgrade now But if you're getting FPS like 20 FPS or so then this video might be useful for you Now before we begin I would like to say that if this video helps then please consider liking and subscribing We're really close to reaching 7600 subscriber. Well, why 7600? Well 76 is my favorite number So please help me reach that I would appreciate that a lot and here's the video So let's just go ahead and talk about the long loading screen issue the thing about Valorant or any other Riot games like if you have played League of Legends you guys will know that the game only starts when 10 like all of the peoples in the game have connected to the game. So there's high chance that it might not be you or it might be you but the thing is when all 10 people connect to the game then the game begins and which is why the issue cannot be like the issue might not be from your PC or it, it might be from someone else's PC or it can be from your PC or your internet connection the lag I mean the high loading time will be there to be honest there is no fix for this because it's a server side thing and as client side you can't do anything so don't sweat over the high loading time issue so after that we have the ping issue now as far as I know a lot of people who watches these videos are from India so the thing is a lot of people has told me that they use mobile data to play the game now the thing is mobile data is not good for playing games because there is delay there's this network lag and a lot of stuff. So if you're using mobile data, like I know, I mean, I knew someone who used to use Airtel data to play the game, which is why he was facing ping issue. The thing is you can't actually use mobile data to play a game because there's a lot of issues like network problem or there might be distance from tower and like a lot of things going on in mobile data. And that's why the ping will be high if you're using mobile data. But however, if you're getting good ping with geo internet or any other internet then that's good for you then also you might need the fps fix actually so if you're using mobile data you will get ping issue i recommend you switch to broadband or wi-fi internet because that's much better and if you're using wi-fi or broadband internet and if you're still getting the ping issues then i recommend talking to your internet service provider they can fix it or you might have to change it that's the best way that you can fix your ping you can also use custom DNS which I don't recommend because sometimes what happens is that because of custom DNS your PC I mean your whole internet will turn off and it will not work which is the issue that I face which is why I don't recommend using custom DNS and then also you have to make sure that you have no apps running in the background now here's how you can check if you have any app running in the background so you can obviously check it manually going through every application or what you can do is go to task manager and then go to this open resource monitor just then go to then go to performance then open resource monitor and then go to network over here and here you will see all the applications or processes that are using your internet and if you see anything that's using a lot of total b per second here like a lot of byte per second here then close it or investigate further that's what i can say and as you can see i don't have any you I mean any activity that's using a lot of internet it's like one or two kbps it's okay so that might be the issue that some application in the background is using your internet or if you have a huge family and a lot of people is using your wi-fi then i recommend just talking to them and telling them to stop downloading or stop using i mean like you know what i'm talking about right so that can be a fix and obviously you can change your internet service and that's what i can say about ping issue so now let's get to the FPS problem. Now there's two ways you can fix your FPS. First you can make your game run smoother by lowering its graphics 
or what you can do is make your PC run faster. So to make your PC run faster, what you can do is watch this video where I showed you guys how you can optimize your PC or Windows 10 for gaming or what you can do is clean install Windows. The thing is that if you clean install Windows, you will lose all your files but this will make your PC a lot faster because you will lose all the junk files, all the unnecessary installation things and like in general it will make your PC faster. So obviously if you can install Windows then I definitely recommend it. And the next thing is drivers. So I think a lot of people has this misconception that you need only one driver to run your PC properly. And I see a lot of people just install the video driver and not the other drivers. Actually the thing is your PC needs a lot of driver to run the PC properly. There's chip drivers, there's Intel drivers or AMD drivers like or there's audio drivers like there's a lot of drivers. So what you can do to install them is use the software called driver booster. Now the link will be in the description box below obviously or you can go on Google Chrome and then search for driver booster. And then you can just download and install that and follow what it says like you can it like it's a really simple and easy process just go ahead and install all the drivers you can also use a software called driver pack solution but that's not something i recommend because it installs a lot of unnecessary softwares as well with the drivers so that's why i don't recommend driver pack solution okay so the last thing that you can do is make your graphics bad to make the game run smoother so to do that that's pretty simple just go to valorant so after you're in Valorant, you go to settings, then go to video settings. So from here, you can see all the settings that I'm using. Now you might have to use a lower resolution depending on your PC. You can go to 720p or as you can see, I'm using 900p. So use whatever resolution that you think your PC will run good at. Now 720p will obviously run better than 900p. So and here you can see I have turned everything off and if you have Nvidia low latency then obviously on plus boost it then go to graphics quality then from here you can see we have everything on low. So just go ahead and copy all the settings that you can see here and here's the thing multi threaded rendering now it might now I recommend obviously turning it on but in some cases it actually works better when it's off. Now for me it obviously works better on on but I recommend giving it like giving off a try. So go ahead and try that but I recommend it on on. So after that we have stats. So I recommend hiding everything. The thing is you will be able to see your stuff like all the stats like FPS, idle time and stuff like that. But the thing is they are going to take up resources from your PC and especially if you have a bad PC or a PC that isn't good enough that little bit of resources actually means a lot so that's why I recommend keeping everything on height so after that just apply it from here then close the setting then what you can do is close Valorant then press Windows plus R at the same time then from here go to app data or app data whatever you want to say it so here we have app data then go to local then go to valorant then go to saved then config and from here you'll find this random number thing go there then go to windows then here you will find an option called game user settings now i'll put my settings in the description box below you can download it from there or uh, if you don't see it right now it will be updated in a few hours so you can download it or you can go here then go to notepad then down here set the resolution quality to 50 so this will run your game at 50% of your current resolution so after setting it to 50 like here you will see 100 just turn this to 50 and copy everything here like you might have to copy some things you might not have to so just make sure that your setting and my is same or if you can't do that just copy mine like just download mine I mean and put it here so after that just save this sorry I mean I don't have to save it I already have it saved then right click on it then read only okay 
and the last thing that you can do is Valorant like setting Valorant on high priority so just go to Valorant then go to task manager like then press ctrl alter delete at the same time then open task manager then from here go to then from here go to details and then find Valorant here and then right click on it like both of them right click on it and set priority to high and that's all you can do and after that you have Valorant on high priority that will give you a little boost now to be honest this video might not be useful for people that are getting like 5 to 10 fps but if you're getting like 20 25 fps then i think this video will be useful for you so well this was it for today and i'll see you guys in the next video